Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In my last discoveries and declutters, I decided to do the lip products separately because I had quite a few of them that have accumulated over the past couple of months and this is more how I want to declutter next year which is more grouping products together and analysing them next to their own light basically with discoveries and declutters generally what I do is put everything I use within a month into a bag and then look at it all at the end but where that kind of falls down it's been great I'm so glad I've done it but where that kind of falls down is that for example if I use a red lipstick in February and then use another one that is a dupe for that lipstick in October or whatever. I don't remember the one from February when I'm analysing the one in October so the only way I'm getting rid of stuff is if things have actually gone off or aren't performing well or I don't like the formula anymore rather than being able to kind of spot where I have kind of multiples. I've not really done a Discoveries and Declutters for a while so I think I basically got all the makeup from kind of May, June onwards other than what I showed in my last Discoveries and Declutters video which was what I wore in August. I think so I can kind of do it this way I can group things together so I thought that's what I'd do today and I thought I'd break down those lip products further so these are all liquid lipsticks. The first thing I'm going to do I think is try and get them into colour groups so that I'm looking at all the sort of brown liquid lipsticks together and all the pink ones together etc etc. Okay so I think I've broken this down this is black so it's in a group on its own. These are reds there's some sort of gingerbready tones there but reds for all intents and purposes browns and sort of nudes, these are mauvey colours, pinks and berries. I think what I'll do is I'll start by swatching all the reds first. What I'll do I think is tell you each of them, swatch them and then let them all dry because obviously liquid lipsticks sometimes the colour that they dry to is completely different from how they can look in the tube so some of these might not even be in the right colour groups and yeah I want to assess it based on the colour that it is. So the first one is by Smashbox, this was a Sephora Point perk so it doesn't have the shade name but it's the, the red metallic one. Next up this is one of my favourite liquid lipsticks so I know this isn't going anywhere um, and it's ABH American Doll. Next up from Rimmel is the Apocalypse um, and this is in the shade Across the Universe. I feel like I say this every time I talk about Kat Von D but I feel like the one time I don't say it is the one time somebody's going to comment so my philosophy with Kat Von D is I will not be buying any more products from her but I just think I've given her the money for the things I've owned already and if I throw them out the only person that's losing out there is me. This colour is Project Chimps which is so beautiful. That's the annoying thing about all of this, I really like Kat Von D products. This was a limited edition colour though so you can't get it anymore anyway. And then this is another one that I love, it's Plath which I love the name of more from anything else. But it's kind of verging into sort of brownie territory and it's a little bit sort of gingerbready. So Smashbox, ABH American Doll, Rimmel Across the Universe, Kat Von D Project Chimps and Kat Von D Plath. I think whilst we're letting them dry since this is sort of a brownie tone anyway I'm going to maybe start swatching these ones. Huda Beauty Mini, this is in the shade Vixen. That's the worst swatch ever but anyway. This is Kylie Cosmetics, this is the shade Dolce K. That is that one there. This is NYX in the shade Sandstorm. Yep, I thought those two were going to be quite similar, so that's them next to each other. I've got Kat Von D Sanctuary next. ABH Sepia. This shade is Sensitive Beige. It's from Kiko. It was from a limited edition Less Is More collection or something it was called. Again, that's maybe quite similar to these two. And then the last of the browns is Beaubrun, which is the Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvet and it's number 12 I believe. This is one of my favourite colours. It's actually much more, maybe belongs down here more than it does up here, but yeah. So this is my arm of reds and browns and I'm going to stop filming for a minute and just make sure they're all set to the colours that they dry to. Okay, so I feel like this is as dry as we're going to get. So first of all, the Smashbox one, this doesn't dry down as you can kind of see. And I actually thought I'd be decluttering this one because I wasn't really sure how I felt about the whole metallic lips thing. It kind of made me think a little bit about the Tin Man in The Wizard of Oz, which is not the most attractive of looks. But I actually really like it. It's not 
super metally when it's on the lips. It is just kind of shiny and I think it'll be lovely for Christmas time so I'm keeping that one. ABH American Doll was never getting decluttered. It is just one of my favourite products that I own. I absolutely love it so that's definitely staying. This is the Rimmel Across the Universe so as you can see that hasn't really dried down for a start which if you know me, you've watched, if you've watched my channel before, I cannot stand things that can get messy and when I wore this it ended up on my nose. God knows how, but yeah, I didn't like this one. I also kind of feel, to be fair, these are so old in my collection that they're kind of off. They don't have a very pleasant smell. I'm just going to splotch the three of them. So this one is Across the Universe. And then I've got two more. So this one is Meteoric Matte and this one is Eclipse. The fact this one is matte and the other two aren't suggests that maybe these aren't really meant to set, but I want my liquid lipsticks to set. So that is Meteoric Matte. I will still swatch these next to the other, the other two um, berry shades, just so you can compare uh, the colours. Yeah, these three I think are a bit off. They smell a bit funky, so I am going to get rid of three of them. As you can see this one is much more matte than these two anyway so maybe this is never meant to set but I want a liquid lipstick to set so the Rimmel is definitely going in the declutter pile. That then takes me on to Kat Von D Project Chimps which I'm not going to talk too much but as I've said I really like Kat Von D products and actually Chimps and Plath are two of my favourites so I am keeping both of them. From five down to four in the reds so one gone that's a fifth gone that's not bad. So on to the browns now, so this one here, this shade, this is the Huda Beauty Vixen shade and I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up but you can kind of see in the swatch how it's a little bit uneven and I found that really difficult the day that I used it. Um, it also didn't ever seem to want to stick to my top lip which was a bit strange, it just kind of continually wore off and I was left with my bottom lip was fine but I had to really build it up to get an even opaque coverage and yeah I just didn't love it. The other thing is I've actually found somebody to pass these things on to. She probably likes Huda whereas I am completely neutral to Huda. I'm not subscribed to her. I'm not a fan but I also I don't even know enough about her to have any opinion on her as a person um, but I know she's a very popular YouTuber and I would imagine this family member probably quite likes her so I think she'll probably enjoy it from the point of view that it's it's a Huda product so I'm going to pass that along. Sorry just had to go back and check my footage. <laughs> this is Kylie Dolce Kate, this is Nick Sandstorm and this is Kiko Sensitive Beige. Um, these two I actually thought were really similar but now that they've dried down the Kylie one is a little bit darker so I'm actually going to keep both of these which I didn't think I'd be doing. But I am going to get rid of Kiko Sensitive Beige, which is this one here. Um, it's just my least favourite of the three formulations. I don't know how it compares to other Kiko liquid lipsticks because it was limited edition, so I'm not sure if it's the same formula and I've never had any other Kiko liquid lipsticks. But again, I didn't love this formula. I felt like actually the opposite that I feel about this, this is very drying and I felt like it really kind of went into any lines on my lips and things. So again, I've got three of these and I'm going to swatch them. So this is Sensitive Beige and then this one is Essential Rose from the same collection. Again, I'm going to show you these three next to each other, but also I will keep them and show them there so that if you've got them, you can compare them against others. And then this is number four, Impeccable Rosewood. Sensitive Beige, Essential Rose and Impeccable Rosewood. Sense to beige, which is this one here and this one here, so watch twice, is going. Next up, let's compare these two. So this one is Cat One D Sanctuary, this one is ABH Sepia. I think these two are too similar to keep both. So on this basis, I am going to get rid of the Cat One D one because really when it comes down to it and I've got two colours like that, I'd rather support ABH than Cat One D. So I'm gonna pass the Cat One D on. And last is my Bourjois and number 12 Beau Brun, which I'm definitely keeping, is one of my favourite colours, so that is definitely staying. And these six will all be going, but that is that is those ones there. And I am going to go, I should have probably done the normal lipstick video first, 
because it would have been easier to remove. But yeah, I'm going to go clean my arm off. But so far, we have... Oh, we've, we've done this perfectly, actually. We are getting rid of... Can you guys see that? We're getting rid of four, keeping four red and keeping four brown. So exactly one third so far has been decluttered. Let's see how that goes with the rest of the colours. Okay, so we are back with a clean arm. One black. We have got four pinks, four mobs and four berries still to assess. Let's move this in the direction we're going to swatch them. I think we'll do the mobs, then pinks, then the berries. So again, I will swatch them all, let them dry and then we'll come back and assess them. This is from NYX and it's the shade number four, Soft Spoken. It's maybe more of a nude than a mauve, but I would say the kind of packaging makes it look mauve, but we will we'll see how it dries down. Next from ABH we have got Veronica. Now that's instantly like if you compare that colour to what's actually there, that does not look like these look like they should be the same. And then you look at the two of them there. So that's kind of the issue with liquid lipstick, so that's why we're letting them dry. Next from ABH, this is the shade Trust Issues. And then lastly, this is the Kiko one that we've already talked about in the shade Impeccable Rosewood, but I'm just going to swatch it next to these so that you guys can see how it kind of fits in colour-wise next to them. That is the Kiko one there. So that is Nick Soft Spoken, ABH Veronica, ABH Trust Issues and Kiko um, Essential Rosewood. So we'll do the pinks next. I think these two are kind of brighter. Bourgeois Nudist, which is that shade there. Next to that we'll do Kiko. This is Essential Rose. That is that one there from YSL. This is the shade number 24. And then Kat Von D Miss Argentina. So that is Bourgeois Nudist, Kiko Essential Rose. YSL Glossy Stain number 24 and Kat Von D Miss Argentina. And on to these berry shades last. So this is a Lancome one and this is the shade 493. Next up we have Kat Von D Exorcism. Then we've got the Rimmel Meteoric Matte. Then Rimmel Eclipse. Last but not least, I'll do the black one at the end, so this is Kat Von D Witches. So yeah, my arm at the moment, Nick Soft Spoken, ABH uh, Veronica, ABH Trust Issues, Kiko Impeccable Rosewoods, Bourgeois Nudist, Kiko Essential Rose, Wise Hill Gloss Stain number 24, Kat Von D Miss Argentina, Longcomb number 493, Kat Von D Exorcism, Rimmel Meteoric Matte, Rimmel Eclipse, and Kat Von D Witches. So... I'm gonna let this dry and be right back with you. Okay, so I think that's as dry as they're going to get. This is NYX Soft Spoken, I'm going to keep that one. This is ABH Veronica, and I'm going to get rid of this one. This down here is ABH Sepia, which I went back and swatched because this is the Kiko Impeccable Rosewood, and that is Sepia. I'm going to gather these together. So I know I actually kept this when I swatched it in amongst my sort of nudes and browns. But, do you know, see when I was looking at this colour, I was like, I just don't wear, I don't really suit colours like that anymore since I went back to red hair. When my hair was like brown or even when it was blonde, I could do these sort of really cool toned looks. And I did like them and I still like them. And I like that colour when I look at it on its own on my arm. But actually with my colouring now, because I've like warm eyes, which kind of switch between sort of green through to gold through to brown, depending on the light and warm toned hair, I just, these colours just clash with me now. So actually going back on it, I'm going to get rid of sepia and I'm also going to get rid of this Kiko one and ABH Veronica because I think they're just too cool toned for me now. But I am going to keep NYX. Soft Spoken and ABH Trust Issues. Next up, uh, Bourgeois Nudist. I'm going to keep this Kiko one. I actually like the colour, but I think it's a little too pale for me. And again, the formula I don't love, so I'm going to get rid of that. I'm doing quite well here, guys. Probably just jinxed it. I feel like it won't be a surprise to say that I'm getting rid of the YSL Glossy Stain. This just isn't. I bought this because of somebody on YouTube that really liked it when I was in a frame of mind where I was shopping to the point that I was unable to sort of 
think independently or make my own decisions and I was just consumed by buying things and thinking that when I owned the things that these people owned I was going to be as happy as they were and whatever so this is just not my taste and I should never have bought it in the first place and I'm going to pass it on to hopefully a happier home. Next up we have Kat Von D Miss Argentina which I am going to keep. I do think potentially this could be really similar to my Marc Jacobs lipstick in the shade Charlotte and if it is then I probably don't need both but that is that's a game for next year when I'm doing this by colour rather than by formula. But now we're on to these four berry tones. Um, so this is the Long Home. I will remember this at some point. 493. I keep wanting to say this is 379. I don't know what 379 is. It's 493 and I am going to keep that one. As you can see it's not quite as dried down as some of the others. I do find it quite a reliable formula and it doesn't move around too much. Next up is Kat Von D Exorcism. This here is ABH Trust Issues. I actually just wanted to swatch the two of them next to each other to compare but they are ABH Trust Issues is darker and I think more cool toned than Exorcism so I am going to keep a hold of Exorcism at the moment. The two Rimmel ones as already discussed I'm definitely getting rid of so that is Meteoric Matte and Eclipse. I don't actually know if you can still get these anymore I feel like they may be discontinued. I really like these colours but the formula is just not for me. And last up Kat Von D Witches which I'm going to keep because I only have one black lip product and it's not something I obviously use that often but when I want it I love this one so I'm keeping that. So that is what's getting kept from this arm. I'm really pleased with this guys. So these are the things that I'm keeping. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 keeping and then this is what I'm getting rid of. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Nearly half. That's, I'm so 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 happy with that. These are going to get passed on to a happier home. These are going to get put into storage so that I continue to work through what I haven't touched yet this year. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I feel really satisfied with this. It goes to show this probably is or this definitely is a better way if my aim is to declutter things. This is more what I'm going to do next year. Do it by colours, do it by formulas, do it by brand collections and try and whittle things down that way. Really, really pleased with today's results and thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you in my next video. Bye!